This program is powered by S Productions. Welcome to the SCNet Transponder, episode 4, recorded on the 23rd of February, released on the 24th of February. In this episode, a new behind-the-scenes Futuretta experienced the Enterprise Bridge as you never did before. Star Trek Online's third anniversary, more Denise Crosby, and Dorian Escorts, and something in May 2013. Enjoy this episode! And welcome to another episode of the STNet Transponder. As you might have seen, we've changed our file name and ID tags of our MP3 files. The ID tags now contain an art image and the genre podcast. We've also made these changes available on our previous podcast MP3s. You can now re-download them to make the collection complete again. For easy reference, we have added all the download links in our show notes of this episode. Just right-click and save. Now, as short as February was, let's go to the news. I'm only in the mood for good news today. First we start as usual with the Star Trek Into Darkness news. Paramount Pictures has released a behind the scenes Star Trek Into Darkness Futuretta. This Futuretta mixes footage from the upcoming movie with snippets and interviews with the producer-director J.J. Abrams and several cast members. The action of this movie, Abrams says, the scale of the movie is light years beyond even the first movie. The goal for this movie was definitely to up the ante as much as we could. There were a lot of characters that people were anticipating seeing, Kirk and Spock. Bones, Scotty, Uhura, Chekhov, and Sulu. I am more excited than I can tell you. The action in this movie, the scale of the movie, is light years beyond what we did in the first movie. Once again, insurance is teaming up with Paramount to be a promotional partner for Star Trek. They've even announced an Embrace the Darkness sweepstakes, which will take a one fan to the US premiere of Star Trek Into Darkness. There is also a Vulcanizer, which allows you to transform your pictures from yourself into a Vulcan, and share them with social media. There is also a download feature, which currently has some icons and desktops. Nothing new. Link in the show notes. February was also the month of the Super Bowl. And of course, Paramount and Bad Robot needed to release a new Star Trek trailer. So here's an audio piece of it. You think your world is safe? It is not. Who the hell are you? I am better. At what? Everything. As compelling as the new trailer sounds, explore the Enterprise like never before. This is possible in the new Star Trek The Video Game. This is the video game like last movie that will be launched alongside the new movie. For more than four decades, the USS Enterprise have been a majestic icon of the adventure and excitement. On board, her crew explores strange new worlds and seek out new civilizations. The new game brings you to the bridge on a completely different manner. It's much more interactive than all other games together as done before. Star Trek.com released an interview with the makers of the game. You can now order the Xbox 360 version or the PlayStation 3 version in the Star Trek shop. Just go to StarTrek.com. And the final Star Trek Into Darkness news of February is that IDW released a new issue of the Star Trek Countdown to Darkness, Part 2. The Countdown to Darkness stripbooks sets directly the stage for the upcoming release on May 17th of the Star Trek Into Darkness movie. 
Follow the link in our show notes and order one yourself for only $3.99. And now continue on to Star Trek Online news. February 2nd was already the third anniversary of Star Trek Online. Yes, it has been three years ago that the game went live. This is celebrated by an in-game event hosted by Q. This year it was Guess the Package. At Starfleet Academy and for the KDF on their academy, you can play with smaller versions of Q. Each of these smaller versions brought on a game. This game contained three packages that move from place to place. At the end you have to guess where the smaller version of Q was hiding. After five of these games, you get a prize of the normal Q. Also with this celebration, you can play the new future episodes Temporal Ambassador. This stars Denise Crosby, reprising her role as Lieutenant Tasha Yar from Star Trek The Next Generation. We don't want to spoil much about this mission, because it's still live. So log on to Star Trek Online and play the mission yourself. My name is Tasha Yar. I was Chief Tactical Officer of the USS Enterprise D. In my timeline, we were fighting a war against the Klingons, and I was proud to do my part to protect the Federation. But I learned, though, in the correct timeline, history as it should be, I died a meaningless death. I accepted the risks when I put on the uniform, and I don't regret what happened. But if I'm going to die, I want it to mean something. That's why I chose to go back with the Enterprise C. To continue on the celebration, our colleagues at Priority One Podcast released a supplemental episode 113. This episode features an interview with Stowe Leeds content designer El Rivera. With a few new details coming into the game, he also tells a story how the feature episode featuring Denise Cosby came to existence. From contacting Denise Cosby to recording her voice, you can hear the passion in El Rivera's voice. He also revealed a funny first encounter with Denise Cosby at the Star Trek convention in San Francisco on November 2012. Accompanied with a video, here is the audio. And I wish to God I had this on video. The first thing she says is like, hi guys, this is like, I just got contacted from CBS and Star Trek Online wants me to be in their game. Tasha Lara is coming back. I'm, and she was like, and the crowd went nuts and she was like, I'm so excited. This is so great. I'm going to be in Star Trek Online. And I'm like, oh my God, she's totally stoked. She's completely stoked about this. I guess didn't, that kind of reaction says, I got to go and talk to her, right? I got to go and talk to her. So I go up there and I introduce myself and I was so nervous. It was just so silly because I was just, I was such a fanboy. I'll just turn it to a total fanboy. So I try to keep my cool, but I'm really shaking inside, right? And so I said, hey, Miss Crosby, thank you for coming to San Francisco. My name is Al Rivera. I'm from Cryptic Studios. I was the one who reached out to you and she just drops her jaw. It's like, oh, that's you. I want to talk to you. And she was like, I'm like, this crazy wants to talk to me. <laughs> right. <laughs> and she just was just so lit up and so excited. And that just totally, totally charged us. It's like, yeah, she wants to do this. Then we even more want to do it with her. And now continue on to ships. Andorian escort ships are now available in the cryptic store. Always wanted to fly a state of the art Andorian vessel. Now's your chance. You can buy up to three different versions in the cryptic store. Alongside these ships, Cryptic also released a movie with all the ships that were released in February. Just take a look with the link in the show notes. We interrupt this program for a special announcement. May 2013. Other news. Already for a few months, Paramount is busy with remastering the next generation. Season 1 and Season 2 are already released on Blu-ray in full definition 720p, with remastered CGI graphics where the Enterprise shines on its best. Now Season 3 is on the doorstep, and what is better than Season 3's best of both world final episode? To accommodate this prize winning episode, Paramount has released a special trailer to rekindle the fans of the climax end of Season 3. The best of both worlds transform a fan favorite two part TNT saga to featuring the Borg, into a re-edited 90-minute future-length experience. At 2200 hours and 12 minutes, the Lala reported contact with an alien vessel described as cube-shaped. We're coming with every available starship to assist, Captain. But the closest help is six days away.
Picard, Luke Picard, captain of the Starship Enterprise. You will lower your shields and prepare to transport yourself aboard our vessel. Star Trek The Next Generation, the best of both worlds, on dazzling high-definition Blu-ray. If you do not withdraw immediately... You will surrender yourself or we will destroy your ship. What the hell do they want with you? One of television's most powerful cliffhangers is now available as a feature-length double episode. The captain has been altered by the Borg. Altered? is a Borg. Ranked by TV Guide as one of television's top 100 episodes of all time. I am Locutus, a Borg. And nominated for five Emmy Awards, including Outstanding Achievement in Special Visual Effects. We're no longer just fighting the Borg. We're fighting the life experience they've stolen from Captain Picard. Now, how the hell do we defeat an enemy that knows us better than we know ourselves? We will proceed to Earth, and if you attempt to intervene, we will destroy you. Then take your best shot, Locutus, because we are about to intervene. Star Trek The Next Generation, the best of both worlds. Coming to High Definition Blu-ray April 30th. Resistance is futile. The end is near, but don't forget a gadget of the month, the Rock Paper Scissors Lizard Spock t-shirt, now available at ThinkGeek. Starting from $17.99, in every size available. What the frig is that? <laughs> Rock Paper Scissors Lizard Spock was created by internet pioneer Sam Cass as an improvement on the classic game Rock Paper Scissors. All hail Sam Cass. Hail. <laughs> How does it work? Oh, it's very simple. Scissors cuts paper, paper covers rock. Rock crushes lizard, lizard poisons Spock. Spock smashes scissors, scissors decapitates lizard. Lizard eats paper, paper disproves Spock. Spock vaporizes rock, and as it always has, rock crushes scissors. And this was already the podcast of February. We release the Astana Transponder on every last Sunday of the month. For more information and links, go to our show notes on our website. We're also looking for your opinions and tips to improve our podcast. Send your feedback to mail at stnet.nu. Until next month. The Stnet Transponder. Press download on demand. www.stnet.nu. Connect by RSS, Facebook and YouTube. Podcast music by DAG. The Star Trek and related marks are trademarks of CBS Paramount.